Chris, what is our fifth main topic today? This one comes from Nicholas Falls. Congratulations to Will Smith. Not on your best actor win, but on upstaging everyone else and making damn sure that you are the only winner anyone remembers. Nobody will remember Coda, Jessica Chastain, or Dune's dominance. No, nope. They'll all remember a petulant movie star who exposed himself to be a selfish narcissist. narcissist. It's all about you, Will. Good job. All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in. Wait, is there a question there? <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Good job, question mark? Um, thanks a lot for sending that in, man. All right. Let's talk about the elephant in the room here, shall we? So I, I don't really need to recap what happened. Chris Rock, a comedian, got on well, we, stage. Well, we, we recreated it the head of the yeah, show. Yeah, we, we did kind of recreate it. What, that wasn't real? Uh, Chris Rock, a comedian, known to be a very edgy comedian, made a joke uh, comparing Jada Smith to G.I. Jane 2, to which Will Smith laughed. We've got video. We'll show you video of it. When he told the joke, Will Smith laughed. Jada Pinkett Smith clearly not comfortable with the joke. I guess Will Smith saw she was not comfortable with the joke. Decide, I better not be comfortable with the joke too. And proceeded to walk on stage and physically assault a presenter at the Academy Awards. He went on stage and hit the guy. And, and then, then continued watched, to swear on live and, TV. And then continued to swear and blah, blah, blah. All after laughing at the joke initially. And thinking it was funny. Now, a debate has broken out about this whole thing, about whether or not what Chris Rock said was appropriate. What the fuck are you talking about? It doesn't matter if what Chris Rock said was appropriate or not. I've heard much less appropriate jokes made at the Oscars before. I've heard much less appropriate jokes made at the Golden Globes at the Emmys, at the Tonys, at the MTV Movie Awards, or whatever. I've heard a lot, but regardless of the appropriateness or inappropriateness of Chris Rock's joke, that is not the issue. That's not the issue. The issue is, was it appropriate that in response to the joke, the guy got up, walked on stage, made it all about him, so he never should have gone on stage in the first place, and decide to physically attack a guy. I actually, there's a, a buddy of mine, who you guys have heard me mention before, who is a comedian. Sorry, I just want to bring it up. And I haven't actually spoken to him in like six or seven months, but he texted me last night. He's a stand-up comedian. He says, legitimately terrified to do any more stand-up routines. I'm honestly in fear that someone's going to come up on stage and hit me because Will Smith just made it okay. Because Will Smith just made it okay. There are some people who are trying to distract from the issue here. They're trying to make the issue that, oh, was what Chris Rock said appropriate? That's not the issue. It doesn't matter whether you think what he said was appropriate or not. Comedians, listen, newsflash. Comedians make jokes all the time that is offensive to somebody. Every joke you laugh at is offensive and hurtful to somebody. Unless it's a, why did the chicken cross the road joke? Unless that, every joke you hear will probably offend or hurt somebody to which everybody always says, but it's a joke. We got to be able to laugh at things, right? Sticks and stones. Sticks and stones. And honestly, as far as jokes go, the one Chris Rock made was fairly tame. And if you don't think it was fairly tame, that's fine. It doesn't change the, it doesn't change the issue. It does not change the issue. A bunch of people started to respond to this online and giving some some comments about it. Will Packer wrote, Welp, I said I would the Oscars wouldn't be boring. Uh, Luke Skywalker himself, Mark Hamill, said stand-up comics are very apt at handling hecklers. Violent physical assault, not so much. Ugliest Oscar moment ever. Uh, came from Mark Hamill. Uh, iconic legendary director Rob Reiner. Will Smith owes Chris Rock a huge apology. There's no excuse for what he did. He's lucky Chris is not filing assault charges. Chris Rock Cho of, uh, chose not to file charges. Uh, the excuses he made tonight were bullshit. Um, uh, Ida Bay Wells, who I believe wrote the uh, 1619 project, I'm typing that you can assault some. Uh, I'm tripping that you can assault somebody on live television on stage at the Oscars and just take your seat and watch the rest of the show. Uh, Michael Steele writes, 
Uh, what a sad commentary when you slap the crap out of someone on live TV, win an Oscar, get a standing ovation, and then accept the Oscar talking about love. There is so much wrong about this uh, moment. Let's get to some comedians. Um, so if you're a big enough star, you can slap somebody on live TV, casually sit down, enjoy the rest of the ceremony, win an award, get a standing ovation, kind of apologize, but not really, get another standing ovation, and then have people defend you. America is amazing. I said I said I wanted to get to a couple of comedians here. So let's go down to uh, where'd we go? We're, uh, we'll go by us, Jimmy. <laughs> I like Michael Moore's tweet. As usual, when it comes to, to time, as usual, when it comes time to hand out the documentary Oscar, all hell breaks loose. I love that. <laughs> uh, ESPN figure Stephen A. Smith. If Will Smith seriously did that and he wins the Oscar, uh, he just stained the greatest moment of his career. You cannot do that crap uh, especially as a black man in that position to another black man on that stage if this was not a joke uh will won't live this down i love richard mark singer richard mark said this uh hey professional comedians be on notice from now on you need to make sure your jokes don't offend people especially extremely attractive famous and exorbitantly wealthy people uh then we get into some comedians uh comedian hal sparks wrote this somebody in will smith's circle needs to tell him that there is no way what he did tonight won't result in a comedian somewhere getting beat up or killed. He just green lit a lot of violence. There's going to, to there's going to need to be a lot of cleanup. Um, then we've got Kathy Griffin, who I'm, I'm not a big Kathy Griffin fan, to be honest with you. I'm not a big fan of her comedy, but she is a very prominent comedian. She's at the following. Let me tell you something. It's a very bad practice to walk up on stage and physically assault a comedian. Now we all have to worry about who wants to be the next Will Smith in comedy clubs and theaters. Look, Will Smith was my pick to win the Academy Awards. Our own Erin Cummings, who will be on the show in two days, she'll, she'll be here in two days, she worked with Will Smith on King Richard. And she was in a movie called Bitch Slap. Yes, but no, not with Will Smith. But no. she was in a movie, yeah, appropriately <laughs> so, in a movie called Bitch Slap. She's in a movie with Will Smith, and Erin's stories about working with Will Smith, nothing but wonderful. That he was generous, that he was a giving performer, that he was respectful, nothing but good, positive, awesome things to say about Will Smith. But make no mistake, Will Smith's actions were the actions of a weak coward. Now look, we all, every one of us in this room and every one of you watch, watching have acted like a jerk sometimes. That doesn't mean you're a jerk, but you've all acted like jerks. All of us have. Every single one of us have said something dumb. It doesn't mean we're dumb, but every single one of us have said something dumb. Will Smith is not a weak coward, but his actions were that of a weak coward. Because he lacked in that moment the strength, the discipline, and the fortitude to find any other way to handle that situation. Instead, he resorted to what a three-year-old does. When a three-year-old has his toy taken away, the only thing, because a three-year-old doesn't have the mental strength, doesn't have the maturity, doesn't have the, the, the discipline, a three-year-old doesn't know what else to do other than, eh, that's what the three-year-old does. Because they don't know any better. They don't know what else to do. Will Smith, who is not a three-year-old and is not weak and is not a coward, but acted like a weak coward because all he knew how to do to handle the situation was because that's all he knew how to do. That was weak. It was cowardly. And it's beneath him because from all accounts, including from our own Aaron Cummings, he is a terrific guy. And in that moment, maybe, maybe again, he laughed first. He laughed at the joke. I'm trying to see if I can find it here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, here it is. So we'll, we'll bring it up here. So basically, you know, Chris Rocks makes the joke. Here he is making the joke, saying the G.I. Jane joke. And then it cuts to Will Smith and he's laughing. He's laughing, but you can see Jada's not laughing. And that's, that's fair. But Will Smith's laughing at the joke. That's funny. And then when he realized he wasn't supposed to laugh at the joke, then he gets on stage and physically assaults somebody. There's no defending this. That there's simply no defending this. And had he been anybody else, I mean, I think even a lot of actors, had he been anybody else, 
<clears throat> had Quest Love walked up on stage and smacked somebody, had, I, I don't know, anybody, if, if Jessica Chastain, they would have been escorted out of the building. They would have been escorted out of the building. And then for Will Smith to get up and talk about, oh, we're here to love and all this kind of stuff. Dude, you just acted like a four-year-old little bitch. You got because you couldn't handle a situation and you walked up and you had to physically assault somebody. You had to hit somebody because that's all you know how to do in that moment. Again, I don't actually believe that's true about him, but that's just how he acted in that moment. And there's no defending it because what is the message we're sending to any, because guess, newsflash for everybody, every joke told is offending somebody's wife, brother, parent, child, cousin, or whatever. Every joke told. And where do we draw the line when we say, oh, that joke was offensive, therefore, and, and, and what the one comedian wrote is true. Will Smith just greenlit that, hey, if you're at a comedy club and a comedian makes a joke that you find offensive or hurtful, it's cool. You can go up on stage and physically assault the comedian. You're cool to do that. Or wait outside to, uh, to jump them afterwards. So it's cool because Will Smith just made it okay. And this whole bullshit about saying, I'm going to defend my family. I'm sorry, was Chris Rock coming at Jada Smith with a bat that I didn't see? Was that off camera? Did I not see that? Was Chris Rock picking up literal rocks and stones and throwing them at Jada Smith? I, I might have missed that. I'm defending my family. No, you're not. You're acting like a coward. And I say this as a Will Smith fan. So it wasn't okay. It wasn't cool. I do not believe it is a true reflection of his personality. Again, I think all of us have acted in, in a manner, so I will speak for myself, but I think it's safe to say this of everybody. We have all acted sometimes in ways that do not actually reflect who we are as people. And I do not believe that what Will Smith did last night is an actual reflect a reflection of who he is. I don't believe that at all. But it doesn't mean that we just give a pass to what happened. Now, some people are asking, should they take his Academy Award away? That, that's been a big thing of discussion. Apparently, that's being brought up at the Academy. Should they take away Will Smith's Academy Award? I would say this. No. Because the last time I checked, they don't hand out Academy Awards for, are you a nice enough person to get this Academy Award? As far as I can tell, that award is presented for best performance by a male lead. Him acting like an asshole for a minute does not change the fact that he was the best performer, at least according to the Oscar voters, he was the best performer in a male in a male role. And he won the Oscar, and that doesn't change. Whatever he does after that, it doesn't change that. He's the winner. He should keep the Academy Award. Unless they find out that he bribed voters at the Academy Award, this had nothing, no impact on that. He should keep the award, and I have no problem with that. I do have an issue that he wasn't asked to leave the premises, though. I mean, the Academy Award puts out this statement that says the Academy does not condone violence in any way. Really? Because you let Will Smith just stay. You didn't ask everyone out, so you kind of do condone violence. Uh, it's, it's a tough thing. Again, I think Will Smith will move beyond this. I think Will Smith will grow from this. I do not believe this is a total reflection of who Will Smith is as a person. And I think he is better than this. But him being better than this just adds to the disappointment of how he acted and the fact that he hijacked the entire Academy Awards. And that's all anybody's talking about today. Nobody's talking about CODA. I just told you guys, we had like over 150 messages in about the Oscars. Only two of them were actually about the Oscars. And that's understandable. So, I don't know, Chris, let me go over to you on this. Uh, we saw what happened. You know, uh, comedians doing comedian things. Mm -hmm. You know, on the one hand, we have a... Re we're, we're As a culture, we can be pretty hypocritical sometimes. Oh, oh can't they take a joke? Oh, I mean, just got, nobody, comedians can't be funny anymore. But hey, it's Will Smith. He's rich and famous and good looking and all that kind of stuff. Oh, that's okay if Will Smith does it. Anyway, you saw this. What stood out to you? What are your thoughts today? Oh, there's so many layers here. Oh, my goodness. Um, first of all, no one behaved well in this situation, I think. Um, as a comedian and as somebody who's done stand-up comedy, uh, you want to punch up. You don't want to punch down. And sure, maybe Chris Rock wasn't aware that Jada has alopecia. But, you know, you don't attack somebody for for something like that, that they can't help, that they're going through, that they've publicly talked about struggling about. Um, and maybe he wasn't aware, but still not a great look. Reacting to that with violence, also not the right move. I will say that laugh at the beginning. How many times have you laughed at something that made you uncomfortable? Because I do it all the time. It's a great defense mechanism. 
or, you know, I, I'll just feel uncomfortable and I laugh. And what I've started to have to train myself to do, and thankfully my husband does, is explain how that's funny. Explain to me how that's funny. Tell me why your joke should make me laugh so that you have to then experience why this is a hurtful thing to say. And again, as a comedian, I've definitely had people try to follow me out after a set for various reasons. I was talking about current news once and I said something about Rock Turner, who's a rapist. And a guy in the audience yelled that he was a hero, which is disgusting. And I said, that tracks. You look like you're a lacrosse player, too. And he tried to follow me out of the store afterwards to tell me afterwards, the comedy store, to tell me how I was a mouthy bitch who deserved what was going to come to me. Now, that's something that like I reacted to him on stage. But still, that doesn't warrant violence. That's not what people should do. One of the reasons why I don't do stand-up anymore is because of moments like that, because of people following me out and me not feeling like I could do comedy without my friends or my husband or somebody else bigger than me, basically, walking me out of a studio. So that's one thing. Um, the way that Will reacted here wasn't awesome, but I also, I'm, I'm not a woman of color. I can't even imagine how that comment would make Jada feel because this is an issue that black women really, really face. Alopecia hits them much more aggressively than other women. Um, I can't imagine having to navigate whether or not you should feel defended, if you should be angry about their reaction or, or reacting on your behalf. I, I can't imagine the scenarios at all. And I'm not gonna be ever in a position where I'll know how they felt. I don't know what it's like to be told to be less angry. I am a very privileged individual. So there's a lot of stuff going on here that is really, really just messed up. Um, I wish that Will apologized in his speech because I was so excited. I was thrilled that he won. I tweeted, yeah, let's go, Will. And what he said, doubling down on why he did it, that did not sit well with me. And I know it didn't sit well with a lot of people. And I really wish that that was the moment he chose to, again, own those things, own things that you've done because that's what being a grown-up is. I wish, I, I wish someone was a grown-up in the room that last, last night, and I don't know why anyone let him get on stage in the first place. I Yeah, I mean, next next year you're going to see this barricade of, of guards in between the stage and whatever. But you raise a good point about, look, even if what Chris Rock said was over the line, even if, then you let the public discuss that. Mm -hmm. Or you, you give him a call later. Or you call the Academy to express why, or you deal with it in a way that a mature, real grown-up deals with it. And listen, if it means Chris Rock, again, I don't even know today if people would be talking about the joke. I, I'm saying I literally don't know. I'm not saying yes or no. I don't know if people today would be talking about the joke. I mean, Amy Schumer made some kind of joke about um, uh, why am I freezing on her name? Academy Kristen Award. Dunst. Well, about oh, Chris, one of those. <laughs> Kristen Dunst, but also about uh, Jennifer Lawrence. Mm -hmm. right about about weight and Jennifer yeah. Lawrence weight and stuff like that and it's like but no he's talking about that today I just think even if what Chris Rock said was really over the line and some people feel it was really over the line then that doesn't green light it to then walk on stage and attack somebody because now we're going to see that happen all the time I don't know Rob you had a chance uh, to kind of soak in all this what are your thoughts to Guys, we want to take just a minute and thank the sponsor of this video, Masterclass. Masterclass is offering classes on a wide variety of topics, like all taught by world-class masters at the absolute tops of their field. Each class is broken down out into individual video lessons, usually like around 10 minutes or so long, and members can explore at their own pace. And each class is supported by downloadable materials, lessons, recipes, or more that you can all find at masterclass.com. For example, are you into streaming? Well, you can take the Building Your Streaming class taught by ninjas so you can sharpen up on your streaming skills. Or if you're interested in independent filmmaking, take independent filmmaking from Academy Award winner Spike Lee. You want to get classes on how to direct? How about from Ron Howard? The very first one I personally looked up and got into was Business Leadership by the great Big Papa Iger, Bob Iger himself. And I was absolutely 
enthralled with it. I love every single minute of this stuff. If any of those apply to you, you need to try Masterclass. So I highly recommend that you check it out. Get unlimited access to every Masterclass. And as a John Campy Show viewer, you get 15% off an annual membership. Go to masterclass.com slash Campia. Once again, to get 15% off your annual membership, go to masterclass.com slash Campia. Well, I didn't see this moment live. I saw it. And the only reason that I stopped, I was, you know, we were moving. I had three of my friends who are black men immediately text me when this happened. And they were all quite upset about it. Because not only did you have for the world to see one black man striking another black man, it also interfered with an award that a third black man was getting for making a movie about black culture. And Chris Rock, even when he tried to recover, and God bless him because he did an amazing job staying on point, but he was trying to give a speech about the documentary category, which is near and dear to my heart, and barely kept it together. He did keep it together. But what does that say? In the greater context, this is going to be memed. It's going to be looked at, and people will never forget this moment. And in, in a world where we live in a post-George Floyd society, you have to you have to be mindful of what you do you just do because these these moments aren't just singular moments they take on lives of their own and they can be used in many different ways to say many different things and all of us as human beings we must govern our passions and i'll tell you something when i saw this joke first of all jada pinkett smith is an unbelievably beautiful woman and even though she had her head shaved, closely cropped, she looked astonishingly beautiful. And I do think that, I, I, now I could be wrong, I think when Chris Rock was speaking off the cuff, when he made the G.I. Jane joke, Demi Moore looked hot AF with her shaved head when she was in that Ridley Scott film. And I think that was kind of the first thing that came to his mind. It was just, I mean, it was, I don't think he, 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 he made a G.I. Jane joke because who's gonna remember that joke? And while I think Jada Pinkett Smith probably took it in a different way, you know, they have been also vocal about their marriage and things they've said. And Chris Rock made jokes about Jada Pinkett Smith back in 2015 during the uh, Oscars So White campaign because she had boycotted. So I could see that there, Will Smith had even some history with Chris Rock and his wife, which also could have set him off. So there was, I think, ultimately more levels there. But we have to ask ourselves, we as human beings cannot tolerate this kind of behavior. It is wrong. It doesn't matter who set who off or what's going on. You cannot do this. And I think part of the, the problem with our entire modern age is there is a lack of civility that we think that in, in some, so I've read a lot online where people said this behavior is in fact justified. Now we now live in a world where the pendulum is swinging back to this kind of violence. We see it happening all across in every, every walk of life. And we either condone it or we don't. There's no halfway. And like you said, John, this is never justified. This was on the world stage at one of the most prestigious entertainment events ever. And we have to ask ourselves, what kind of a society do we want to live in? Is it ever acceptable, especially to walk up to somebody and strike them on camera, on stage? It shows to me that even when you get angry, you, I mean, if anyone else had done this, there is no forgiveness here. You have to take the consequences. And it certainly didn't seem to me, I just found the whole thing depressing. Because yeah. I love Will Smith. I've met Will Smith. And he's a great guy. I mean, he comes off, when you meet him in person, I love his work. I, I mean, I love Hitch. I can't tell you how many times I watch Hitch. I, I don't, you know, I'm going to watch Hitch again. I'm still going to love it. But I'm going to be like, bruh, come on, dude. You know, um, in uh, the last Comic Con that we went to, Will Smith had been coming up the elevator as we were going in. And he walked yeah, by yeah. Entourage. There's this aura about him. Like I was like, man, that's a powerful, talented man that just walked by. He me. really is, man. And like, you know, he was he look he looked stern that day. But uh, this is like it's like a shock to me that this happened. Like I I I never thought that he would actually do something like this. Like this, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe, I don't know him personally, but 
you know, it was it was surprising to me. I actually had to rewatch it over and over a couple times just to get it in my head. I didn't tell if it was a joke at first. Same. Like I'm like, wait, that, I that literally didn't really thought it was happen. a weird bit. It was yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it yeah. wasn't until I saw the Australia version where they don't censor yeah. the things where it was full, where I was like, oh, this is real. And the str- there's the no screaming way. afterwards. He was screaming at him yeah, not yeah. once but twice. He had a long time to contemplate what it was he was doing. That walk was not a short walk. He didn't run up. He calmly stepped up and walked up to Chris Rock. At any moment during that walk, he could have thought to himself, maybe I shouldn't do this, knowing full well the cameras are on. He is a class, he's a world class actor. He knows what was going and, on. And and to put on that, like the fighting is not the first resort that anyone should go to. But sometimes, you know, I'm a big boxing fan. Sometimes two guys just have problems with each other. Do it. Fine. That was kind of like hitting someone in the back of the head without. It was like a, a real cheap shot to me. Oh, yeah. If, yeah. if John like, Cena or Dwayne The Rock Johnson was presenting that award and made that joke, he wouldn't have gone on stage. I'm just saying, like, like, if, like, if you got a problem with me and we could and fighting is our only solution, like we and it, it has to happen, at least let me know and we could do it. But don't go up to someone thinking because Chris Rock was obviously still la- um, laughing when he was coming up. He probably like thought he Will was, was going to hug him. He, th- well, he yeah. Probably, yeah, yeah. Thought, probably thought Will was going to play it. Right. Right. Make a thing out of it. And but, there was rage there that when he sat back down and continued screaming, there was rage. See, I, I, mean, I, I wouldn't have minded that. Like if all he did was 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 angry and yelled at him. I, yeah, I would have been. Well, and, save that for afterwards. And we've all been in that problem. situation. Yes, everyone's everyone's had a moment where they have just lashed out and retaliated, and and I get that when you are just having that like white hot rage, it's hard to be reasonable with yourself. Your lizard brain just kicks in. And you're like, I'm gonna go punch the shit out of that person, and hopefully you just gather yourself enough to hopefully the worst thing you do then is yell at someone, is show a, a not so great side of yourself. And again, every everyone has done that. Everyone has done that, including our heroes in in the film and television world. You just wish that in a moment like this, that cooler heads prevailed. Yeah. Like, but that's now an image that he's going to have to live down yeah. for the rest I'm, of his life. I'm not sure he ever will. I I mean, his message at the end, too, when I watched the speech, I like I got it. Like, I'll, I'll, But it was empty. It felt totally empty yeah. after what he did. And like, you can't he, be, oh, it's all about love. And then you walked up and see when somebody's... But then he the also point. tried to equate what he was doing with the character that he was playing. I'm protecting I, I yeah. my family. I'm protecting and I'm my like, family, yeah. I'm like, no, 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 no. no. It's sudden. defending his family. Yeah, I'm defending but it was more like family. he offended a lot of more yeah. people. I Defending was more... So of let me ask this question. There is discussions going around today about whether or not the Academy should take back the academy award i have already made the argument i do not believe they should this this award isn't for acting like the nicest guy it's for best acting and he was the best actor at least according to the academy voters he should not have his academy award taken away i don't know if he should ever be invited to the academy awards again but i don't think he should i i I absolutely don't think he should have his academy award taken away rob what about you i completely agree with you the work that he did had nothing to do with this incident Mm -hmm. And nor does this incident change the work that he did. I agree. Uh, and the rest of his career, because he has done some amazing work. He's done a lot of good for people, you know, but that doesn't that doesn't absolve him of what he's done. You don't get absolved of things, but the work he did deserved to be honored. And and what it what it said about Serena Williams and the actual King Richard, their father, that matters. You know, and and the image that he portrayed in that picture, it is important and it resonates. I say keep his award. Right. I, I agree with that. The the thing with it is, uh, uh, future jobs like 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 for future uh, roles, will this affect? You know, things that um, or even like Jaden Smith, will it affect like him getting roles? Because he his tweet uh, cheered kind of like cheered on like. Yep. They yeah, said that's how I don't do want to get on that too much because you know what? I, I would always support my dad if he yeah. was still here. Never side against the family. Yeah, I Never would always support, support my dad. But, but in a way, publicly, Not in like a that. way, I how will it affect somebody asked asked this? Somebody wrote to me this morning and asked there. We talked the other day about there being some whispers and rumors that Marvel, Marvel may be looking at Jaden Smith for Miles Morales. We know Marvel doesn't we know Disney and Marvel don't like this kind of thing. 
does, did, on ABC. Th- does too. this hurt him? Mm-hmm. Does this? Hurt? I don't know. Chris, anyway, Chris, the, on the question of should should the Academy Awards take back Will Smith's Oscar? What do you think? They're gonna take back a lot of other Oscars. Yeah, that's true. That, I'm so glad you brought that up. Mm-hmm. Like you take back his Oscar because what he acted like a jerk in this moment. Okay, you're gonna, you were right. You're gonna have to be sending out a FedEx guy to be yeah. picking up a lot of Oscars then for people who didn't act so well after they won something. Mm-hmm. I, I will say this about Will Smith, admittedly. He's one of the few actors where if ever he was on the screen and he started crying, I would start crying too. He has that much power does. in acting for me. There's like two or three other actors. One of them is like Mel Gibson for some strange reason too. <laughs> like whenever he does like a real thing, you know, it's like he brings these emotions out of me. They when he take back his Oscars. Yeah. So like, it's like he, he's an incredible talent. I just wish this, this didn't happen. And if it did, and if he really wanted to beat Chris Rock's ass, Wait for the show to be over. You could find them. You could find each other if it has to happen, but not in front of millions where you're, this is supposed to be the prestige award show where, you know, it's like the royalty of, uh, and then we show this to the rest of the world. But it's here, kind here's the other thing too, from, from a guy's point of view, okay? Just from a guy's point of view, big man, 6'3", Will Smith, going after a five foot six, buck 25, Chris Rock. Come on. Who hasn't done anything in like, uh, uh, well, no, actually he did the, the Jigsaw movie. The Jigsaw <laughs> movie too. <laughs> he, oh, I'll yeah. tell you one thing. I bet uh, Chris Rock's agent called Netflix and said, hey, you got any more of those specials ready to go? Because I got a client. <laughs> I, 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 ready. I feel bad for Chris Rock too. Like, I mean, I he too. said, he said the joke wasn't in good taste to me, but he is a comedian. And if you're sitting in front row, everyone's fair game, I guess. That's what. And like they invite these com- comedians on, right, you know, to actually do this. So I don't know. He was. All right, guys, I uh, I heard saw some people in the live chat ask me to create a poll. So I did. So I created the poll for you guys. I mean, all four of us do not believe that they should take away. Well, I mean, the award was for acting. He won. He was voted. They should not take it away or else, as Chris pointed out, you're going to have to start taking away a lot of people's Oscars. So I simply asked the question. Should the Oscars take back Will Smith's Oscar? Uh, I just put it up right now. 1,800 of you have responded. Uh, 78% of you agree with us saying no, they shouldn't. But 20% of you guys are saying yes, they should. And 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 I, I mean, look, you just embarrassed the Oscars at the Oscars and you want to keep your Oscar? I, I get that argument. I do. I just personally feel like the Oscar wasn't handed out for like a Boy Scout merit badge. Most courteous. No, it... He was for acting. It was voted on. He won. Uh, now there's over 2,500 votes, and it's staying right at that range. 80% of you are saying, no, they shouldn't take it away. 20% are saying, yes, they should take it away. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? And what impact do you think this will have, if any, on the future of who want to host? I'll tell you what. Ricky Gervais would have been murdered eight times over if people oh. were allowed to act like this when doing co- offensive oh, comedy. Absolutely. At, at, at the thing, he'll, Ricky Gervais will never want to host anything like this, but I'm getting written by comedians saying they're literally scared now. They are scared of, of doing their humor As if on they stage. didn't have enough to worry about with our, our PC culture run amok. I, I mean, and now they got to worry about literally peeping. Will Smith just made it okay to attack a comedian on stage. Anyway, guys, the question is for you. What do you think about this? Uh, do you side with one or the other? Do you think the Academy should take away Will Smith's Oscar? Yes or no? Whatever you guys are thinking, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.